The upcoming release of the iPhone is still a month away, however, an intriguing report has emerged, shedding light on aspects of the anticipated iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. MCC Creers has put together a feature that provides details about what we can expect. Now, you might wonder how anyone could possibly know what these phones will look like. Well, it's actually quite plausible. Apple invests years into the development of their iPhones, going through prototypes along the way. While there may still be some tuning to be done, major design changes are becoming less likely as time goes on. The report mentions that the prototypes aren't completely finalized yet, which seems reasonable to me. Nevertheless, it's unlikely that we'll see any alterations at this point. These images offer valuable insights into their appearance. At a glance, they bear resemblance to the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max with their curved edges, slim bezels, and elegant titanium edge band. However, we don't get a sense of scale from these images. It's expected that these new models will be slightly larger than their predecessors due to increased screen sizes. It's being reported that the upcoming 2024 models of iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max might feature screens with sizes estimated to be around 6.3 in and 6.9 in, respectively. Although a difference of 0.2 in may not seem significant, it's worth noting that the previous generation saw an increase for the phone, which was definitely noticeable. One reason for the new screens is believed to be to accommodate the Tetra Prism 5X telephoto lens, something only found on the larger iPhone 15 Pro Max currently. The size was the reason the iPhone 15 Pro couldn't manage this bigger lens, and this year's release aims to fix that omission. According to MCC, there were four different versions of button configurations for the iPhone 16 Pro. Apparently, the setup that has been chosen is similar to the iPhone 15 Pro, with two exceptions. First, there will be an extra button on the right edge called the capture button with pressure sensitivity that will sit flush to the edge of the phone. It'll be used to snap photos or shoot videos. Meanwhile, the action button on the left edge will resemble how it appears on the iPhone 15 Pro. Several previous reports have indicated that the upcoming iPhone 16 series will not bring any changes. Instead, Apple's focus for this year's flagship smartphones will be on integrating AI capabilities. According to Apple analyst Mayno, the iPhone 16 Pro models will introduce 48 megapixel sensors, while the telephoto lens will remain as the rear facing camera with a resolution of 12 megapixels. Mayno explained that the ultra wide camera of the iPhone 16 Pro will feature a 48 megapixel sensor. This upgrade is expected to enhance photo quality in low light conditions when shooting in a mode by capturing light. Previous models already employ a pixel binning technique in their 48 megapixel main camera, which combines data from four pixels into one pixel to improve low light photography. With the arrival of iPhone 16 Pro models, this technology is anticipated to extend to the ultra-wide lens that currently has a resolution of 12 megapixels. Consequently, these models should have the capability to capture Pro-RAW photos with a resolution of up to 48 megapixels in ultra-wide mode. Pro-RAW photos retain image details in their file format, offering flexibility for editing and enabling high-quality printing at larger sizes. Jeff Poo made a statement suggesting that the upcoming iPhone 16 Pro would come equipped with a powerful ultra-wide camera boasting a 48-megapixel resolution. A few months later, new information about Apple's plan for the upgraded ultra camera was shared on the Chinese social media platform Weibo, with Qua supporting this rumor. It appears likely that by 2025, the iPhone 17 Pro is expected to transition its camera setup to include 48-megapixel sensors even for the telephoto lens. Additionally, Qua mentioned that the upcoming iPhone 16 Pro will feature the Tetra Prism telephoto camera that was introduced on the 15 Pro Max. Furthermore, there are plans to enhance the front camera unit of the iPhone 17 series with a 24-megapixel sensor and a 6-element lens. Meanwhile, in news, Apple Track has revealed some changes coming to the 16 Pro models. A noteworthy detail is that Apple might reduce the size of the island on both iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max models, resulting in a screen-to-body ratio. One of their renders even depicts an iPhone 16 Pro with a punch hole cutout positioned at the center. However, it remains uncertain if Apple will completely abandon the dynamic island concept since it was only introduced two years ago. Moreover, the recent update reaffirms the intentions of the technology giant based in Cupertino to incorporate a capture button beneath the power button. 
The screen dimensions of the iPhone 16 Pro are rumored to expand from 6.1 in to 6.3 in, while the Pro Max variant is expected to have a 6.9 in display, surpassing the generation's 6.7 in size. Now, for those of you excited for the Apple iPhone 16 series, we're now going to run through the full specs, design, and the pricing for each model in the range to help you guys decide which one is right for you. For my regular viewers, you guys have seen this, so just skip to the next video. But if you're new here, then hit subscribe now, and we'll get right into it. So first up, we have the standard iPhone 16. With the standard iPhone 16, we get a 6.3 in OLED display, but unfortunately, this is still going to be an LTPS display. The iPhone 16 is going to have a taller aspect ratio than last year, and it's going to be protected by Ceramic Shield 2. We get the new dynamic island, which covers up the 12 megapixel selfie camera and face ID sensors. Then on the rear, we've got a 12 megapixel primary camera and a 12 APS ultra wide. It's powered by the 18 chipset and is likely coming with 6 gigs of RAM and up to 512 gigs of storage. It's also powered up by a 3450 milliamp hours battery with 30W fast charging and comes with advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Now it will, of course, ship with iOS 18 and is expected to launch from around $850 in September 2024. Next up, we've got the iPhone 16 Plus. With the iPhone 16 Plus, we get a 6.9 in OLED display, and again, unfortunately, this is another LTPS display. It's got a taller aspect ratio than its predecessor and is protected by Ceramic Shield 2. We get the new Dynamic Island, which covers up the 12 megapixel selfie cameras and face ID sensors. Then on the rear, we've got a 12 megapixel primary camera and a 12 maps ultra wide. It's powered by the 18 chipset and is likely going to come with a choice of 6 gigs of RAM and up to 512 gigs of storage. It's powered by a 4420 milliamp hours battery with 30W fast charging and comes with advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Now, of course, it ships with iOS 18 and is expected to launch from around $950 in September 2024. Next up, we got the iPhone 16 Pro. Now, the iPhone 16 Pro has a 6.3 in 120Hz LTPO OLED display. It's got a taller aspect ratio than its predecessor, and the Pro is protected by Ceramic Shield 3. We get the new Dynamic Island, which covers up the 12 megapixel selfie camera and face ID sensors. Then on the rear, we get a 48 megapixel primary camera, a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, then we've got a 12 megapixel Tetra Prism camera with 5x optical zoom. It's powered up by the 18 Pro chipset and comes with 8 gigs of RAM and up to 1 terabyte of storage. It's also powered by a 3450 milliamp hours battery, and fast charging is still unknown at the moment, but we do expect some improvements. And, of course, it comes with advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. It will, of course, ship with iOS 18 and is expected to launch from around $1,100 in September 2024. Now finally, we save the best for last, the iPhone 16 Pro Max. With the iPhone 16 Pro Max, we get a 6.9 in 120Hz LTPO OLED display, again like the other phones, it's got a taller aspect ratio than its predecessor, and it's protected by Ceramic Shield 3. We get the Dynamic Island, which covers up the 12 megapixel selfie cameras and face ID sensors. Then on the rear, we've got a 48 megapixel primary camera, a 48 megapixel ultra wide, and a 12 maps Tetra Prism camera with 5 times optical zoom. It's powered up by the 18 Pro chipset, it comes with 8 gigs of RAM and up to 1 terabyte of storage, and it's powered up by a 4500 milliamp hours battery. As with the 16 Pro, we don't know the fast charging at the moment, but we do expect to see some improvements. Now it comes with advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7, and it will, of course, ship with iOS 18, and this one's expected to launch around $1,300 in September 2024. So overall, the iPhone 16 series is looking like a great addition to the iPhone lineup. While things remain similar, there are still plenty of upgrades with the new hardware to power it better and brighter displays, along with the new battery thermal technology. This should really enhance the experience and work well with the new AI features. 
Now, of course, because of all the similarities to its predecessor, it's probably not going to make anyone with an iPhone 15 rush for an upgrade. But for anyone with an older iPhone or looking to get their first iPhone, it's going to be a great choice. Now, of course, as we approach the launch, more and more information is going to continue to come in, and I'll be sharing it as soon as it does. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future. So what are your thoughts on this new camera enhancement? Share it down below in the comments section. And for more updates, you can check out our channel. See you for the next time. Peace out.